right, so I'm back with the last part of this three part mammoth video fest I think it's it's over two hours of video actually between these three videos um, uh, so this video is concentrating on on vertical shooters still for the Xbox 360 but these are non-cave so I hope you enjoy the video guys and I'll speak to you again soon right so we are on now to the uh, non-cave shooters uh, still vertical shooters and the first one i can't even pronounce the name of this i'm going to have an attempt at at pronouncing this but it's going to be absolutely wrong um uh, mamoru kun wa norarete shimata that's the best you're going to get guys <laughs> uh, this is a g rev shooter that came out I think sort of mid-period when the shooters were coming out for the, um, um, for the 360. I'm not aware that this was released anywhere else on Japan. Um, and currently on eBay, it's going for around about £40. Pounds. Now, whilst this is a shoot 'em up it is one of those games that... Um, it, it's a sort of run and gun really more than anything it's got a weird a slightly weird control method that when you are, are moving around the screen um, uh, you've got free movement however when you start firing you're locked in that position and which is a bit weird and it it takes a bit of getting used to and I never really put a lot of time into this I'm gonna be honest but anyway we'll uh, have a small or short run through of the game go and actually change the difficulty couldn't I but I'm not going to let's just start and it is what it is yeah I'm not bad about the tutorial not that's going to make any difference because I absolutely suck at this guy. around there because I've got the firing on I can't actually, actually change direction Slows the gameplay down a bit. Fortunately.
Right, and the level boss. So again, that's a quick run through of that game. I'm not going to uh, bother pronouncing uh, the title of the game again. Let's move on to the next one. So we're now on to the Xbox 360 version of uh, Raiden 4, or Raiden 4, however you want to pronounce it. Um, now, this is currently available on, on eBay for around £65, so uh, this is one of the more expensive titles I suppose, uh, from 360 and I'm sure we all know about Raiden, I actually quite like this game to be honest, I know some people aren't really into Raiden or Raiden but um, I quite like it and I think the graphic side of it is, um, that is really good. It's all high res, so well, I say high res, it's not. Well, yeah, it is. It's high res. So let's go to arcade mode. Get the original, and we'll go for that. Uh, type of toothpaste laser, as Future Mutt would call it. Very simple game uh, uh, mechanic on um, on Ryden. Yeah, 
quite awesome effects on this game actually. So that is a very quick run through there of uh, Raiden 4. Right, so the next shoot em up we have is Raiden Fighters Aces. Um, now this was a very limited release as far as I'm aware and was I'm pretty sure only released in Japan so you can't get it on, on any other region. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, uh, because of the rarity of the game it retails at around £150 now on, on eBay second hand again. So this is certainly one of the biggest hitters in respect of costs for the Xbox 360 uh, for shooters. The, uh, the different thing about this uh, game is you've actually got uh, three games on one disc. So you've got Raiden Fighters, uh, you've got Raiden Fighters 2, and you've got Raiden Fighters Jet. So we'll go through each one of those, but we'll start off with uh, Raiden Fighters. And this is a, uh, a pretty much blast back to the uh, Well, blast back to the uh, yeah, um, yeah. It's a blast back. <laughs> I forgot what to say. Um, yeah, this is a full-on sort of retro shoot. This is really and really reminds me of, um, of the shooters of of old. Is this the right one? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it is. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> I expected it to look uh, different than that. I don't know why. So, sorry, we'll go back to that again. What a muppet. I undoubtedly won't last too long. Uh, you know me in these uh, uh, these shoot them up uh, gameplay videos. Well, so, so, I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. It, it, it's. I mean, it, it's it's definitely a possibility that I'm just gash. Uh, shoot him up. I mean, that's always a possibility. But I'm hoping it's because I'm not sat at my cab playing this and I'm sat at my desk playing it on, a, on an LCD screen with a crappy old uh, Xbox 360 joypad. I hope that's all it is. I mean, it can't be, can it? It must be because I'm really weak. hard work for me. Anyway, that's a quick run through of Raiden Fighters. Right, so now let's try Raiden Fighters 2. I'll last a little bit longer on this one. 
can't guarantee anything. All that goes straight into my ship. What a clunker. Yeah, so Raiden Fighters 2. Finally, in this in this trio release, is Raiden Fighters Jet. That was more luck than judgment, I think. So there you go, Raiden Fighters Jet. So next up, we have Bullet Soul. Um, I'm not quite sure what to say about this game, but uh, it's by 5PB. In respect of its uh, current cost on eBay, going for around about £70. Uh, so again, not a particularly cheap shooter, but um, it is what it is. So let's get into some gameplay. Oh, 
by then, this is the thing to start uh, yeah, not sure. Anyway, so that is, um, yeah, what do I call it again? Uh, Bullet Soul. Bullet Soul. And if Bullet Soul was never enough, then we've got Bullet Soul Infinite Burst. Uh, so this came out after the original version. Don't ask me what the hell the difference is between these two games. That's terrible, isn't it? Um, I would have known more at the time when I bought this, I can assure you. But anyway, so this is the second version. And it has some, I don't know, some infinite bursts thrown in, whatever that is. So let's get down to actually having a look at it. Oh, and this one on eBay goes for around £70 also. So that's probably... Uh, they're both around seventy pounds. Oh, okay, so you got different offers, I think. Okay, let's go for, let's go for that one.
going on the screen. You get mesmerised by the explosions. So, that's Bullet Soul Infinite Burst. Right, so next up we have a shooter called, I think it's called a Skatos. A Skatos. A Skatos. A Skatos. A Skatos. Um, which is quite a strange shooter, actually. It, was developed or published by a company called Cute, I think it is, a Cute Corporation. Now, and from what I remember, the actual shooter itself, the Skatos, was pretty naff. However, the disc came with uh, with two other games that you uh, that have never been ported anywhere else before, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they're from the MSX pretty sure, could be wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure they're from the MSX. And they are, yeah, they're a shooter. One of them's called Judgment uh, Silver Sword, and the other one is called uh, Cardinal Sins. So what we'll do is we will have a bash at this. No, I've got actually uh, change the second on this, I think. Ah, unless they were on the, um, hold on, were they on the Wonder Swan or something? Not the MSX, was it the Wonder Swan? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Right, so that's that one. Let's first have a look at the Skatos. But I am going to have to change the display on this, so sorry, bear with me for a second. Let's go into screen settings. Da -da -da. There we go. Uh, ba 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 ba. Yeah, full size. 69. Effect settings. What was that for? Hmm. Okay. Right. Let's go to game start. So you've got original, advanced, time attack. Original. I didn't think this game was copper though. I didn't really get any graphics on this game. And this company goes for around forty pounds a year. It sort of reminded me of, of um, those Japanese called Dojon, Dojon shooters. I just thought it was a bit of a sort of, I don't know, like, a, like someone designed this in the bedroom on some um, uh, shooting up generation and stuff like a package. I just didn't. Didn't write at all. They were very cheap from the production value from their perspective.
Ooh. Yeah, I don't want you to go check this guy. I almost thought about this game being uh, something off, off, the, off, off the Xbox Live Network. You know, those sort of cheapos. Uh, games. Didn't seem polished enough. So yeah, that's a Skatos. So now let's look at the other two games on the Skatos disc, and we'll look at uh, Judgment at Silver Sword, Silver Sword, Silver Sword Rebirth Edition. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, got to go through and change the screen settings again. Now, from what I remember, this was pretty, pretty old school. Yeah, this is pretty old school. And this does look like... I don't know what it looks like. In fact, it's quite nice listening to a tune. Uh, this is the old chip uh, music. sure these two extra games are on this skip on on this disc are, are, are pretty highly regarded to be honest. You never know that by looking at them but uh... So, uh, yeah, well, that's that one. Let's go on to the next one. So, the last game to try then is Cardinal Sins Recycle Edition. Cross knows who comes up with these uh, names. Final mode, normal marathon. There we go for the normal mode. Presentation, but uh, I remember when I looked at these games and I got the disc because people were raving about these games and you can't get them anywhere else um, apart from the original console, whichever one that was. Um, and uh, yeah, I must admit, when I first looked at them, what the f 
Well, I've got a, I've got 360 here. I've got. Ah, just blinking blew my own extra hoofer up. Anyway, that's Cardinal Sins. Right, the next game disc is, now let's get this right, is Shooting Love 10th Anniversary. Don't you just love some of these names that they give these games? Shooting Love. So this is from Triangle Service, and, and this specific edition um, has, has two games on there. I'm not sure how you pronounce this. 12 zeal x i i zeal i say it's 12 zeal or it's x i i zeal i think it's 12 zeal but i could be totally wrong as uh, so you've got 12 zeal and you've also got delta zeal zeal so let's have a look at uh, 12 zeal first now hopefully i've set yeah set the screen up ready Let's give it a punt. Let's actually watch this. So we've got fire, and we should have bomb, I would have thought. Yeah. I think I can work that out. Slow down there. So that's a uh, 12 zeal. So let's try the next one. Right, so the next game, or well, the last game in this pack, is, um, is Delta Zeal. Sorry about that. So let's go through the same process for this. Right, get on with it. Oh, 
Bom. Slow down. Let's go. Ooh, Jesus. Anyway, that's Delta Zeal. Right, so the next game up for the Xbox 360 is a game called Caladrius. Uh, this currently retails on eBay for around £50. And this is a bit of a, well, is it a bit of a weird one? Uh, perhaps it won't be in respect to the next game I'm going to show you as well. But anyway, I won't go into that. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, this game, uh, whilst it is a vertical shooter, it is a 4-3 aspect ratio shooter. So, let's get straight into that and I can show you what I mean by that. Straight away. And there you go, by what I mean, uh, being a 4-3 ratio. Uh, so there's no uh, settings at all to make this both fit effectively onto, onto a, a tight screen. It's a traditional 4-3 uh, ratio shooter. But it is vertical, so... There doesn't actually seem to be much in the way of, of power-ups on this guy. So it potentially comes across as a bit sort of boring perhaps. Okay, so this is more likely from a sort of bullet hell perspective.
Right, actually beat it. So that is Gladrius. And how could we do a video about shoot 'em ups on 360 without? showing you or having in my collection on the defeat hd now i'm pretty sure i <laughs> i don't have to say anything about this game at all so i'm just going to go straight into the uh, gameplay we'll choose arcade mode get on it Buttons work. Being honest, I'd probably prefer the Dreamcast version more than this. I think because of the look and feel of it. Um, I'm not sure this game bodes. Look it. I'm not sure this game bodes too well with the HD treatment. Yeah, okay, so that was a very quick run through there of, of Under the HD. Oh, sorry, 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 forgot to say, forgot to say. Uh, this retails on eBay for around about £50. And the very, very, very last game, so this is the 24th shooter out of this collection for the Xbox 360, is a game called Ginga Force. Um, I don't think it's much cop, to be honest, but. Uh, Anyway, I'll let you guys have a look at it and see what you think. Oh, 
了解God for that. Total failure. So yeah, that's the final game. Ginga Force.